Tenra Bancho Zero, Heaven and Earth Edition, is technically a 700-page nightmare book with a 456-page rulebook, and to some, that may be intimidating, but I'm here to tell you that as a JTRVG, it's not really complicated. Written by Junishi Inu, TBZ is part of the relatively long-running Tenra franchise, covering all parts of a hyper-Asian setting. A setting that has everything from magic demon samurai to literal mecha-riding hard-asses who all deal with one another quite violently. But before I launch into the nitty-gritty, I need to explain an important concept in TBZ. This is kabuki theater, and by that I mean everything is very exaggerated and over-the-top for dramatic people being dramatic for dramatic reasons. Do not go into TBZ thinking this is going to be a long-running campaign or a dungeon-crawling adventure, nor go thinking into this that this is going to be a nice and comfy affair. We're hitting the ground running, and it's a struggle to the top. At the basics is a d6 dice pool success system, with your attribute determining the amount of dice you're going to be rolling, while your skill determines the target number to roll under. Most of the skills are going to be 1 to 3 range to begin with, with more advanced characters maybe having a 4 or even a 5 in a single skill. Attribute-wise, characters have 40 points to distribute among all of their 7 attributes, meaning that even a perfectly average character are still going to have a few dice to roll in just about any situation. But you are far, far from being average. But if that was that, it'd be pretty simple, but why is it 400 pages archetypes? Your character isn't necessarily just stats and skills, but are more into a combination of archetypes that form together a whole. Your skills actually come from these templates that you just stack on top of one another. Now, let's make a simple character. We'll make Sigal-san, a wanderer mercenary Ayakashi hunter, who, after adding everything together, may look something like this. As you can see, he's not actually too complicated to look at, each archetype granting him some basic skills and abilities, but none of them being really too odd until you hit those ones. Sigalsan is an oddity, of course, but he's not an armor rider, which has to manage their own personal suit of power armor and mechs, on Myoji Taoist sorcerers, demon monster samurai, powerful Buddhist monks, and their martial arts brethren, Johnny Silverhand relying on a soul mirror for your mech, but also sometimes not, being a literal actual shinobi ninja hardass, having crazy monsters growing inside of you, or having being a puppet person and having a handful of species, or just being old. TBZ allows you to make mix and match a lot of these, creating these one-of-a-kind characters, even having rules for creating your own archetypes to fill in the needs. Now, most of them have their own independent rules, which unsurprisingly have their own factors to consider, but most are pretty simple when you break it down. For example, Buddhist magic is just make a check and resolve the magic's effects, while armor riders most of the time are pick armor, do thing. However, what is this? Karma. Karma is the natural flow of the world, setting and game in TBZ, acting as the explosive source of power and damnation for our heroes. Rather than spend an hour talking about it, the idea is a simple three-step flow. You have Fates, which are the characters believes in hard and willing to go against the world to perform, protect, and maybe even hide from. Fate is ranked and rolled to generate Ki, which acts as your ability to add dice, add successes, add actions, get new gear, shift the emotion matrix and generally be anime as fuck as well as advance your character growing in power and ability with the more power you accumulate however any kia you spend will turn into karma karma is your absolute limit 108 if your karma ever exceeds that you've gone gamer mode and officially become an asura as you probably try and murder your friends in a violent fit of rage but karma indicates how much you can actually care about things as well determining the amount of fate you can have this cycle is the core of TBZ, building up the cool characters as they struggle toward their inevitable demise, always edging themselves to get to it. Fates can be removed to reduce karma, but there's a certain sadness that comes with it. When something they care about has now left them, something that defines a character no longer does. The cycle encourages an aggressive playstyle. That beat is not merciful, and it forces you to think on your toes. But that nature even extends to things such as combat, in its rapid-fire exchange of successes and counterattacks, but even damage extends to your vitality, but you can also be applied to your wounds, which represent you getting more serious injuries, including dead. If you select the dead wound, you're getting plus three dice on every action you do. You're a one-man army, but if your vitality ever hits zero, instead of being KO'd, you're dead. TBZ is a game of two souls, a kabuki theater production with the drama it entails, te telling a rather poignant story about the nature of people, how we push ourselves at our own risk, and then what we're willing to do to compromise 
compromise, and even what hills to die on. On the other hand, it's also an over-the-top anime bullshit where you're a living tank and fully able to fight off the world at 107 karma, but you have 50 ki laying around and that villain is looking awfully squishy today. It's a major problems actually just boil down to having a lot of that at once, which is to say it wants to give you every single rule and every single idea rather than just give you a simple explanation of the rather tight, cohesive core. More archetypes, more equipment, more stuff is most likely out there, but as Kotodama Heavy Industries has effectively abandoned their chaos for the uh, decade ago at this point, I doubt we'll ever see any of the expansions they promised released officially, which is similar to Ryutama and Shino Begami for that matter. I'm noticing a trend here. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Tenra Banjo Zero. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. A many thanks to the esoteric mercenary financiers for funding my death march. Godspeed, good luck, and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you.